All right, everyone, so I want to do another garden update. Uh, this is for the full garden. And here I have beets. These are all beets. There are some weeds here that I have to pull out, but for the most part, these are beets that have been popping up out of the ground. Here I have turnips. And it looks a little bit patchy because, yeah, the cats come around, but we'll get some turnips out of them. And here is a habanero plant, or actually four habanero plants, really, uh, that I planted close together in the spring of this year. And because we still have uh, warm temperatures, um, our winters are very mild, uh, these are actually still producing peppers. It's crazy. And here is a five by five bed that I just dedicated to certain herbs. Um, pretty much all, actually, yeah, certain herbs all in the same family. Um, so here I have parsley. And then here I have some wild Italian fennel imported from Italy. Crazy. Uh, last year I planted just regular conventional uh, fennel and they did really good actually. But I heard about wild Italian fennel online and I read, or I, actually I heard on a video. I heard on, <coughs> Damn rooster. I heard on a video that they actually have a much stronger flavor than regular uh, fennel. Here I have just dill. This is all dill growing. These are dandelion greens, which are in the chicory family. And these dandelion greens survived our severe summer. Um, I had more dandelion greens here, but they all went to seed. And I just let them go to seed and die naturally so that I can get um, volunteer uh, dandelion plants. Here I have Swiss chard, parsley, parsley, which I planted in the spring. Uh, these are just different brassicas here. I have uh, mustard greens, collard greens, arugula. These are mature Swiss chards, which I uh, seeded in the spring of this year, and they have survived the summer. Uh, here I planted parsley, although they haven't come up out of the ground yet. Same thing with here. There's a weird wild mushroom growing here, which looks pretty, but I'm not touching it. And let's see, over here, got rosemary here. Lavender here, lemon balm, got some marshmallow, which I planted in the summer. These are edible greens in the same family as okra, actually, and they are slimy, but they go good with some garlic and lemon and uh, some steamed rice. Stevia here. If you, if you guys want to grow your own sweetness, this isn't, technically this is not sugar, but just for the sake of conveying a message um if you guys want to grow your own sugar in a very simple way grow stevia technically it's not sugar but it's very sweet and you can put these leaves you can put these leaves and these stems in your tea and your coffee and it's it, it'll make it very very sweet it's really amazing um, i'm allowing these stevias to go to flower so i can take some of their seed but i want most of them just to self-seed right directly into the ground so that next year I can get volunteer stevia. That's the, uh, that's the plan. Here I got lemongrass, very tasty, especially lemongrass tea, it's awesome. Here I have um, uh, Yalpon tea, which if you guys wanna grow your own tea, but you live in a climate that's really, really hot, um, because tea doesn't like severe heat, um, grow Yalpon. Yalpon grows in the wild all throughout the south. Um, and uh, it is really, really caffeinated. You just cut some of these twigs with the leaves, you boil it in water, and you have your own caffeinated tea. It is awesome. Really awesome. And I think it tastes better than regular tea. Here I have turnips. Lots of turnips. I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna be spacing these out soon, probably 68 inches between each plant. They're all clustered together here, but I'll space these out. And the ones that I pull out, I'll just eat them. Stuff them into dough, make some Ossetian pies out of them. 
Uh, here I have beets, all beets. And then here I have a row of turnips in the end. I have some tansy, which is a great herb. Um, if you wanna relax your body, go to sleep, um, take some tansy leaves and make a tea out of them. Do not use a lot and do not drink a lot. Just drink a little bit. Be smart about it because if you drink too much, you will wake up with a really bad hangover, but it relaxes you very well. Here I have collard greens, whole bed of collards here, some Swiss char that survived the summer. I had some burdock growing here. So I'm gonna allow all these plants to grow together. Got the flag of Poland. Just regular herbs here. Got some uh, bee balm. This is bee balm here. Very good tea. Very good herbal tea ingredient. Sage, also an amazing herb. More sage, beautiful flowers. And here I have a mixture of different brassicas, turnips, mustard greens, arugula, radishes growing here. And in the end, I have some lasonato kale or black cabbage or cavolo nero as they call it in Italy. And here, I still got my tomatoes from the spring, which I did not get a single tomato out of, which means I don't think tomatoes really grow that well in my climate, it's too hot for them. So I'm gonna be pulling these out and just growing turnips and beets here. And during the spring, I'll just plant some eggplants here. Eggplants grow really, really well here in, uh, in my climate. So yeah, that's about all for this, uh, for this garden update. And uh, yeah, enjoy your Saturdays, guys.